Well, hey folks, happy spring from the land of grills. That's right, uh, it is spring and we're getting a little bit of snowstorm. Nothing like you people in California got. So don't bother sending me pictures of 50 feet of snow. I'm just impressed here with that. Uh, we're getting like six inches of wet heavy stuff to shovel today. Looking forward to that. But in the meantime, we're gonna work up, we're gonna work up an appetite. So we got a pork butt on the Z Grills 700 series, set at 225, just coming up to temp here. The PIDs on this thing is phenomenal. And there's our pork butt. Show you what we use for seasoning. And we're just gonna 225 this for a couple hours and then turn it up to maybe 300 and uh i'm not even i don't even think i'm gonna wrap but uh time will tell as the snow continues to come down so if you're wondering what i'm using i, I got this stuff years ago i don't think you think it's made anymore see who's but uh a fair amount of sugar in there and sugar is what's good on this and uh <laughs> just keep going in the snowstorm here all right before we start shoveling round number two here uh z girl set at 225 it does a phenomenal job at 225 folks it just you know, 30, 30, 35 mile an hour winds gusting here today with snow falling, no problem on, on the Z-Grills. Take a look, but just trying to get some nice color on there. Uh, if you're wondering pellets, um, if you didn't know, Z-Grills makes their own pellets and this is their oak. And uh, I really like the oak stuff. It does a very, very nice job. Keep on going here. All right, well, two and a half hours and the snow has subsided. Uh, how, how disappointing. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that nice color on the Z grills. Nice pork bowling, pork shoulder, folks. Keep on going here. 225 is where we're still at. We got all day to go on this thing, and uh, it's still early, and we may just take our good old fashioned time on getting this thing done. All right, folks, about four and a half hours into it, I did bump things up to 300 and uh, take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, looking really, really nice keep on going here and, you know we talk about covering and wrapping and all that if anything i would take some aluminum foil and just tent it over it just wrap it on the top and the uh, moisture from the butt itself will uh make things a lot easier than taking it off and and wrapping in that that you'd be surprised how well that works but uh we'll keep on going give you a couple more looksies all right bumped it up to 325 it has been seven and a half hours loosely cover it just that's all it takes right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Just took a temp and it's like 203, 204. We're gonna pull it, cover it, let it rest for about an hour. Give you a look, see the final product. All right, it's been resting for a little over an hour. That's uh, the moment of truth is if you can pull the bone out and uh, stick a little bit to the bone. Okay, well, it also has been sitting for an hour and a half. It is also still hot. So let's, uh, let's try pulling this. It smells good. Hang on, let me get a paper towel. All right, in, in a snowstorm, look at how moist that is. It's my favorite because it's got the crust on the outside from that seasoning, the smoke ring there. Oh man, that's just beautiful right there. On a, on a pellet grill, yeah, on the sea grills. That oak in there and that seasoning, that seasoning had a lot of sugar in it. And you can really taste that. That's so delicious. Oh, you gotta, I, I tell you what, even, even in a snowstorm, 35 mile an hour winds coming down like crazy, the Z grills didn't know it was snowing. The Z grills didn't know it was 35 miles an hour wind. It just kept on plugging away and did a great job making a pork butt. This is gonna be uh, delicious sandwiches. Hope you enjoyed this Tom Horseman YouTube. Don't, don't forget to check out Z Grills also. And they got a new grill coming out pretty soon too. Can't wait. Hopefully I'll be able to show that to you. Tom Horseman YouTube. Thanks for watching.